Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to be doing now is start machining these end caps. You've got two, one for the high pressure cylinder, one for the low pressure cylinder. Also we got some rear caps go on the back. So I'm going to give these a good file up first, see what we got. Right, these caps here, they go on the cylinder. And then what will happen if I get the smaller one, plus the smaller one there. You've got the waste shaft bracket here with two runners. So the bottom of these are quite flat. So I'm going to mount these in the milling machine. I'm going to mill this to the right height from here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the centre. From there to there. I'm going to mark the centre. I'm going to drill that and... Um, ream it out to 5 16th the size of the piston rod then each side of there there's a plate going to draw in so when you pack around the piston rod to make it airtight the two studs that will be here will be squeezing the packing down so when I've drilled those I'll be able to move the cutter over to machine these to the right size which is an inch so I'll be able to move the cutter the correct way from centre that way and that way so that'll be machined to the right width then what I'll do is I'll put that on an arbor then in the lathe turn this down to the right thickness and the back so that'll be both of these covers. So let's get them mounted on the milling machine. Right, just going to machine the top off. Right, that's one done. I'll just swap over and do the second one. So I've marked out that centre hole there. That will be where the piston rod will be going through. I'll drill that. And then I'll drill the two stud holes there. And then what I'll do is I'll machine from the centre to the overall size of there each way. And then I can mount that on the arbor. Face that, machine that down to the right thickness and that. And then we'll be halfway there. There's the other one over there, look. Just get the reamer. I'll put the reamer going in. Beautiful. Right now, what I'll do is the two stud holes either side. Right, just drilling the tap and drill for the stud. Four BA studs will be there. Right, 
Uh, just get me BA taps. Second tap on. Right, I'll get on and do the other hole. Later on, that'll be bored out that middle hole to slightly bigger to allow for some wadding in there. Because then there'll be a plate with a turn part on it which goes in the larger hole which then will push the wadding down as you tighten it up to make it sting tight against the piston rod. Right there's one done. I'll do the other one. I can now mount that on an arbor and then turn all of that. Lovely. So I've drilled both faces of these, now I've got to make an arbor to put that on so I can mount them in the lathe. I'll get on and do that now. As you can see I've made an arbor, arbor and I've mounted one of the caps on there ready. What I'll do is machine that to the right size diameter. Then I'll machine that to the right thickness. And then the step inside there, I'll face off as much as I can. And then what I'll do later on, I'll mount that in the milling machine and just take the middle bit off. Beautiful. Right now I'll machine it to the right thickness from that back edge to there. Right, next thing I'll do is machine the middle part to fit inside the cylinder.
Right, I'll face off what I can on here to make that a 1 16th uh, height from that face. That's one sixteenth there. So that is machined to size now. What I'll do is I'll mount that in the milling machine and take that middle bit out. And then we'll be doing the holes on the pitch circle diameter to bolt that onto the cylinder block. But I'll just get on and do the second one. Right, as you can see, I've machined the middle part off on the milling machine on both of those. And they fit in the cylinders perfect, there's no side wobble on both of those, so that's great. So next thing I've got to do then is do the holes to bolt them on. Well, that's these two end plates machined to actual size and they fit nicely in the cylinders. There's no side wobble on any of those. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll put the studs in there, get that set up in the milling machine to machine these faces to the correct distance. They've got to be an inch overall, half inch from that line each way. That'll be for the runners that'll be on the wave shaft bracket, which fit on there. So that'll have to be drilled and tapped as well. And then I'll be able to get the holes drilled in there and drill them onto this face of the cylinder blocks. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as i build a two inch scale fowler showman's traction engine